Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have to get a lot of stuff done, not just cleaning, I have to do some cooking, some prepping for the weekend, and getting the kids clothes going and stuff like that. But today's video is in collab with Jennifer from I Love Lunches. You guys will really love her channel. She does the most amazing lunches for kids that makes you want to step up your game honestly i'm jennifer with i love lunches when you're done watching my friend's channel i hope that you will come by and say hello i would really love to have you be a part of the i love lunches family i'm excited to chit chat with get you tons of ideas for your kiddos lunches i try to make them as creative as i possibly can and who does not love to go shopping? When I go shopping, I'll take you along with me and see what amazing goodies I find. And of course, we cannot forget motivation. I would definitely be motivating you on my channel. And I'll see you soon. So make sure I link her channel down in the description box, guys. So let's get this day started because it's a long one. Of course, one of the first things I do in the morning is get the kids ready for school. My boys are old enough where they get themselves ready. But in the morning, I get my daughter's hair ready. Sometimes it's easy and she just tells me what she wants. And there's times where I do her hair and she does not like the way I do it. So the kids are off to school. My husband just drove the kids to the bus stop because it's pouring down rain outside. So now I'm going to unload this dishwasher. You know, you guys know I do not like doing it, but it's gotta get done because if not, we'll have to hand wash my dishes. So I have to pick and choose what I wanna do. So after that, I'm just gonna get my day started. It doesn't matter if my husband does it or if I do it, but no matter what, we have to make sure to unload the dishwasher in the morning so like that when we have any kind of dirty dishes, we could just put it straight into the dishwasher and not have dirty dishes in the sink. to make the kids some pancakes i could put them in a container and then that would make my mornings really easy because the kids have a competition tomorrow and we have to wake up super early the last thing i want to do is make breakfast but of course they do need breakfast before they leave the house so i'm going to make these ahead of time they really like these and they're like 14 grams of protein so i am going to make a double batch and hopefully this will get us through the weekend So one thing I wanted to mention is I actually do not measure. I do look at the recipe to see what the main ingredients are in there. And then I add those in there, but I always add more to the pancake mix. Like I will add a few dashes of cinnamon and vanilla extract. And it actually ends up tasting a lot better, especially if a pancake mix asks for only water, I will definitely add milk. Or sometimes I might even add an extra egg and it comes out a lot fluffier. Couldn't 
do it without falling apart. So give me something, give me something. We're moving through the night like we're from a different star Flying over streets and our broken hearts But they can even touch us, we found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead So the pancakes are done and ready to go I just came in here to get my daughter's school clothes out And she made her own bed, she's been making her own bed every morning My eyes kind of twitching right now, I want to fix it but I'm not. So on Fridays, I do take my daughter's school clothes out for the next week. I also take out her church clothes for that Sunday. It makes it a lot easier for me. And I get to enjoy the weekend without having to worry about getting ready for the week for the next week. It makes it a lot easier, I promise. Comment down below if you are planning to do anything with your kiddos for Valentine's Day. There's no school here for Valentine's Day. It's on a Friday, which is perfect, but the kids do not have school. And then that Monday is President's Day. So they don't have school that Monday either. So it's a four day weekend. So I'm trying to think of things to, for the kids to do. So comment down below if you have any ideas and you know, we could brainstorm amongst each other. While I was picking my daughter's clothes, I was looking at some clothes in there that she could not wear anymore. So that's why you see me throwing clothes on the floor. There's a store here called Kid to Kid. It's just like Once Upon a Child. I wish we had a Once Upon a Child here. It's like an hour away. But you pretty much sell your clothes there. So I think that's what I'm going to do and see if I could get her some new things for her to wear. She is growing so fast. But one thing that she loves to wear a lot is dresses and I need to get her some more dresses. I do wipe my kids bathroom down either every day or every other day because when I miss at least two three days it definitely shows and I have to work a lot harder to get their bathroom clean so I just prefer to do it this way Of 
course, the never ending laundry that has to always make it to my cleaning videos. It's one of those things that when I feel like finally the laundry is done, there's always more to do. Now it's time for me to put our dinner in the slow cooker. I'm going to be making keto chili, which does not require beans, which is perfect because I didn't have any beans anyway. So it was pretty easy for me to make. I will also be making sure to leave the recipe down in the description box just in case you want to try it out. have some lunch i love eating salad also i make my own ranch dressing which i will be leaving the, the recipe for the ranch dressing down in the description box just in case you want to try it it is so good the only thing different that i do is i add apple cider vinegar because i like my ranch dressing to have more of a like vinegary taste sort of and i use this is the beef fajitas which i am obsessed with i like to add that to my salad A few hours have already been, been passed by. The kids are home from school. My daughter's eating. Um, I made rice to go with their chili because they don't eat chili by themselves. But I do, um, I don't eat rice. I try to cut that one out even though it's so hard. I love rice. But let me show you how my plate looks. It's the keto chili. It was super easy to make. It was kind of like a last minute recipe because I didn't know what I was going to cook today. Because whatever I put for today, I didn't feel like eating. So I changed my mind. So 
I, of course I don't eat it with a carb. I do like mine with jalapenos and sour cream. And if I had avocados, I would have ate it with I hope that. you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go over to Jennifer's channel and tell her that I say hi. And if you came over from Jennifer's channel, make sure you comment down below so I can say hi to you. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And keep a lookout for my next videos, guys. Bye.